uh, okay to find the oblique asymptotes there are five steps to find the oblique asymptotes let y is equal to mx plus c be the equation of the asymptote second point is find the polynomials phi n x y and phi n minus 1 x y and taking x is equal to 1 and y is equal to m then we get phi n m and phi n minus 1 m third point is take phi n m is equal to 0 then we get the value of m and to find c use formula this c is equal to phi n minus 1 m and phi n dash m means k derivative of phi n m ok by substituting the values of m and c we get y is equal to m x plus c is equation of line ok first assume let y is equal to m x plus c second point second point to find the asymptotes consider phi highest degree term phi 3 m phi 3 x y first of all we will take phi 3 x y phi 3 x y means third degree term of equation third degree term of equation is x cube plus y cube same way phi n minus 1 m means phi 2 x y means second degree term of equation total sum of second degree term equation is in this equation minus 3 a x y ok this is phi 3 x y and phi 2 x y to find phi 3 m and phi 2 m take x is equal to 1 and y is equal to 2 sorry y is equal to m ok then we get phi 3 m is equal to 1 plus m cube and phi 2 m is equal to minus 3 a y this is phi 3 m and phi 2 m means phi n m and phi 2 phi n minus 1 m ok third point or third point is uh, take phi n m is equal to 0 then we get the value of m phi 3 m means phi phi n m means, means phi 3 m is equal to 0 it means 1 plus m cube is equal to 0 then we get m is equal to minus u and other values is imaginary there is no need to trace the curve m is equal to minus 1 same way we can find using four step we can find c also formula c is equal to phi 3 m sorry phi 2 m by phi 3 dash m negative value ok then phi 2 m is is minus 3 m minus 3 a sorry m minus 3 m by phi 3 dash m is 3 derivative of phi 3 m ok 3 m square by simplifying we can write 3 a m by 3 m square means a by m but here we know that value of m is minus 1 then we can write minus a means the value of c is minus a finally by substituting m and c in main equation y is equal to m x plus c y is equal to what is the value of m minus 1 and value of c is minus a then we get y is equal to y plus x is equal to minus this is the equation of asymptote ok uh, now what is the which type of uh, which type of curve is called polyam discards we can see here ok we get this type of curve one by one we will discuss about the points of polyam discard first point was symmetry here we can see that uh, curve is symmetry about y is equal to x line second point is origin means the curve is passes through the point tangent tangent at the origin uh, there are two tangents at the origin first x axis and 
you can see here y axis also the tangent ok special points in this case special point is node is special point and intersection with coordinate axis is 0 0 ok and asymptote asymptote is y plus x is equal to minus a means like this equation y is equal to x plus y is equal to minus a is asymptote ok similarly we can find also some extra e equation x raised to 5 plus y raised to 5 is equal to 5 a x square y square in this equation we also discussed first point is first point is symmetry this curve is symmetry about y is equal to x line because there is no change in equation if x and y are interchanged then y is equal to x symmetry about y is equal to x line second point origin in this equation there is no any constant term means curve passes through the origin ok third point is tangent to find the tangent at the origin the lowest degree term equating to 0 in this case what is the lowest degree term minus 5 a x square y square is lowest degree term is equal to 0 means we can write x square plus x square y square is equal to 0 means x is equal to 0 y is equal to 0 in this case also x is equal to 0 and y is equal to 0 are tangent means y axis and x axis ok now what is the fourth step fourth step is special points ok in this case also x is equal to 0 and y is equal to 0 two tangent and two tangent are real and distinct it means special point we get node fifth point intersection with coordinate axis uh, by taking x is equal to 0 take x is equal to 0 in equation then we get x is equal to 0 in equation then we get y is equal to 0 and if we take y is equal to 0 then we get x is equal to 0 it means 0 0 is intersection with coordinate axis last point is asymptote to find the asymptote in this case also there is no uh, asymptote parallel to x axis and parallel to y axis so we have to find oblique asymptote our equation is equation here equation is x cube plus y cube is equal to 5 a x square y square first of all assume y is equal to m x plus c is equation of asymptote second point first of all decide the higher degree term of equation means 5 5 x y is equal to x is to 5 plus y is to 5 and phi n minus 1 x y means phi 4 x y is equal to minus phi a x square from y square ok to find the phi phi 5 m 
take x is equal to 0 sorry x is equal to y 1 and y is equal to n then we get 1 plus m raised to 5 and 5 4 m is equal to minus 5 a m square ok now to find the value of m take 5 5 5 m is equal to 0 it means 1 plus m raised to 5 is equal to 0 then we get m is equal to minus 1 fourth point is find c how you can find the c by using formula minus c is equal to minus 5 4 5 4m by 5 5 dash m here 5 4 m is minus 5 a m square by 5 5 dash m is the derivative of 5 5 m is the derivative of 1 plus m raised to 5 means 5 m raised to 4 by simplification we get a by m square but we know that the value of m is minus 1 and we can write a means we have the value of c is equal to a by putting m and c in main one equation y is equal to mx plus c where m is minus 1 and c is a then we get x plus y is equal to a this is the equation of asymptote ok now using this whole, whole step all step we can trace the curve we will discuss one by one all step first x axis y axis this curve is symmetry about y is equal to x line this, this is the y is equal to x line y is equal to x line and curve is symmetry about y is equal to x line these all points we have to keep in mind second point our second point we have discussed origin means in this case curve is passes through the origin and tangent in this case tangents there are two tangents x axis and y axis means y is equal to 0 and x is equal to 0 two tangents ok and this point is called node intersection with coordinate axis only 0 0 is intersection with coordinate axis of the curve now asymptotes we get asymptote x plus y x plus y is equal to a now this line is passes through two points take um, x is equal to 0 then we get y is equal to a and y is equal to 0 and we get x is equal to a and there are two point of line 0 a and a 0 and this line passes through the two points 0 a and a 0 means this is a 0 
and your point is 0 a This is asymptote. Then finally, we get curve of x raise to 5 plus y raise to 5 is equal to 5a x square y square, like this way. This is the tangent y axis. and we know that curve is symmetry about y is equal to a x axis then we can draw like this ok finally we get the curve of x h to 5 plus y h to 5 is equal to 5 a x square y square this is the curve in Cartesian form now we will discuss about how to trace the curve in polar form in polar step polar polar form there are also few step there are four step to curve to trace the curve first step simple first step is symmetry second step is uh, pole pole means ke pole in uh, in Car in cartesian form um, origin and uh, in curve uh, in polar form origin is known as pole first point is symmetry how we can check the symmetry in Cartesian form sorry in polar form about the initial line curve is symmetry about the initial line initial line means x axis there is no change in equation if theta is replaced by minus theta then we get the curve symmetry about x axis there is no change in equation if y if theta is replaced by pi minus theta then curve is symmetry about pi by 2 line pi by 2 line means y axis there is no change in equation equation is unchanged if theta is replaced by pi by 2 minus theta then curve is symmetry about theta is equal to pi by 4 line same way there is no change in equation if theta is replaced by 3 pi by 2 minus theta then curve is symmetry about theta is equal to 3